So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Uh, are you feeling that you need to take a very strong resolution? You need to learn to say no. You need to know how should you say no? Are you afraid that people will be offended if you say no? Uh, what is it? Okay, so if, if you're facing any of such situations, then uh, you should actually understand that there is a transit which is going to happen in the sign of leo by the planet venus which is the planet of love romance beauty marriage uh, sexuality which may be encouraging you to do all this okay now the transit is happening on 2nd of october and we will discuss uh, what will happen for every ascendant in a bit but uh, it's important for us to first understand what this transit is. Otherwise, uh, we will not be able to understand what will happen in our life, even if we see the ascendant part. Okay. So, uh, Venus, as you know, uh, lords the sign of Taurus and uh, he also lords Libra. Okay. So, therefore, um, Venus is an energy which tries to balance out things because he is the lord of libra which is the multricorn sign of venus uh, but what is leo now leo is the sign where uh, things start but uh, there is a resolution which you need to take before starting things okay which is to protect your self identity your sanity basically so whenever venus transits leo uh, it is frequently observed that People may feel that uh, they are on the losing end. Okay. Now the problem is uh, when you are sitting with somebody, if both of you feel that you are on the losing end, then the negotiation becomes very difficult. Okay. But uh, it is interest. It is a very interesting transit because uh, this actually tells us that uh, there are times where we might need to see what we value, what what are our priorities. Okay. So unless you see that, uh, then we have, without that, we cannot actually help others. So if you are feeling that uh, you can't say no, then maybe uh, it's the best time for you to introspect and see why can't you say no, okay? Because many times we think we can't say no because we ourselves are not very convinced about what we want in life, okay? If we are convinced, then uh, it is not very difficult to say no to the things that uh, take away our time and our energy and our resources. Okay. So therefore, if you are in a relationship, um, if you feel and if you feel that uh, things are being taken for granted, you know, your help, your love, care, concern, then maybe you need to back off a bit and you need to um, first uh, see how you can nourish yourself because you cannot nourish anybody uh, without nourishing yourself. Okay. So, and as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your relationships or career, wealth, uh, marriage, health, then you can go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And if you uh, <clears throat> like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who you know is feeling this. Okay. So now let's go to the first ascendant uh, so Aries so for Aries uh, Venus lords the second house and the seventh house right so now for you Venus is transiting uh, in the fifth house of Leo right so the lord of the second and the seventh coming to the fifth so this could open up uh, issues related to your love life especially why do I say love life? Because fifth house is the house of love. No, that's not the only reason because seventh house shows relationships and Venus has Libra as Multricone, which is the Lord of the seventh house. So for you, it might especially uh, give you a new relationship uh, during this time or you might meet somebody with whom you might enter into a new relationship or if you are already having a relationship it might be the case that you uh, are planning to get married with that person now i would like to give a disclaimer here uh, for a very serious relationship or a thing like wedding to happen you cannot just see transits you have to see what your mahadasha is telling what your antardasha is telling so for example 
uh, along with this transit if your mahadasha is indicating that uh, you will have uh, you have the mahadasha and antardasha of planets uh, sitting in the second or seventh uh, or eleventh then this becomes more prominent okay so please uh, analyze your chart comprehensively because otherwise you may expect that yes you will get married or at least you know you will find somebody in 31 days but uh, it may not be the case okay so uh, please check and see uh, what is there in your Mahadasha, Antardasha and if they are supportive then this combination will uh, most likely give you the possibility to enter into a serious relationship okay so wish you all the best Aries now we go to Taurus so for Taurus uh, as you know Venus is your Lagna Lord right Venus is also the Lord of the sixth house but the Multicorn Rashi is in your sixth house okay which is Libra and now he is going to transit the fourth house so depending on your horoscope and your Mahadasha and Antardasha this could bring up some issues related to education or job or some kind of learning that you need because when the Lagnesh is transiting the fourth house you are looking for some shelter and where do we find shelter we find shelter in learning because because when we learn something uh, we understand how the mechanics work then we are not left then we are uh, not confused and we are not clueless we uh, we understand how things work in the right perspective so the sixth house also has to deal with has to do with you know your day-to-day -day work day-to-day -day routine so by any means if you feel that uh, there is something in your job in your profession you know because of uh, which, which is causing some confusion or anything general about your health lagnesh six slot specially related to health then you know you may have to educate yourself you know maybe about some low carb diet or uh, uh, keto diet or paleo diet or you know mediterranean diet you know something like this or you know some ayurvedic treatments you might have to take because uh, then you will exactly know what you can expect in the next two to three months and in the next six months in next one year so if you know that then you can actually um, see yourself you can visualize yourself you know maybe losing weight or you can visualize yourself uh, um, yeah going ahead in that journey even if it is gaining muscle or uh, it's you know becoming improving your body mass index or whatever it is you know depending on whatever health goal that you have okay so look at your chart and uh, analyze what is required but these areas could be your focus okay thank you so now we go to gemini so for gemini uh, venus is your fifth lord fifth lord of love romance creativity hobbies interests passions desires and the 12th lord also 12th lord uh, and the fifth lord is uh, fifth house is, has the multricorn rashi of venus and this transit is happening in your third house right so for Gemini, if the 5th, 12th Lord is transiting your 3rd house, 3rd uh, house is the house of expression and 5th house as you know is creativity. So basically, this is a time for you to express yourself creatively. Okay, It's a time for creative self-expression because the 3rd uh, house is a very interesting house you know it is 12th uh, it is 11th from the 5th house and 11th house is the gain as you know so uh, this can show the gain of creativity okay and try to think 3rd uh, house is expression and what happens when you express your creativity you learn more about yourself okay so if you have any creative traits talents and you want to uh, express them well then this is the perfect time and uh, because venus also rules the 12th house so there will be some introspection you know if you feel that you have started something you know you uh, started some youtube instagram page or channel and you are still not able to formalize yourself properly so sit down and try to think because 12th house is the subconscious mind you know it shows things which are there in the back of your mind so what is there okay first try to think and then uh, you can actually uh, maybe note down the things and then you can plan uh, accordingly so that you can be benefited 
okay and third house also represents interviews you know maybe you might have to upskill a bit for some new job fifth house also shows some learning so get practical knowledge practical skills develop yourself and go and crack the interview or express yourself creatively depending on your mahadasha and antardasha of course okay thank you so now we go to cancer karkalagna so for cancer venus is your fourth lord he is also the 11th lord and he will be transiting your second house very 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 interesting placement so for cancer uh, the fourth house and 11th house uh, for sure it shows something to do with uh, vehicles property uh, real estate and also something to do with your combined net worth why do i say net worth because second house is the house of net worth it is like the combination of all the wealth that you have in your name okay so uh, 11th lord transiting the second house is a very big raj yoga because whenever uh, the lords of the 11th and second are transiting in each other's houses then uh, it is extremely good for financial reasons okay <clears throat> but now venus is also the fourth lord and because the mool trikon rashi libra is in the fourth house so primarily this shows uh, the fourth house and not just the 11 so what is fourth house fourth house is the house of learning also right and it is vehicles and cars and real estate as we discussed but primarily it is learning okay <coughs> and venus as the fourth lord rather than real estate or land property can show more of vehicles so for you uh, if you have any plans to buy uh, a new vehicle then maybe it's a good time and in your mahadasha antardasha if saturn mars are involved then it is also possible you might get some property <coughs> or it is also possible that you might get a property but that is for investment purposes because the 11th house of wealth and second house of wealth are also involved okay and also it could be possible depending on your chart uh, if you are running a very good dasha for career you might get a new job because second house is a artha house which shows jobs okay and 11th lord transiting the second house uh, is excellent for jobs okay so uh, please a uh, please try and apply if you can and uh, i wish you all the best okay thank you now let's go to leo so for leo venus is your third lord and 10th lord and transiting in your lagna itself so venus transiting in your lagna you are very conscious now about how you look <coughs> how you are appearing to others you know uh, so uh, it is possible that you spend some money uh, when it comes to you know your uh, reputation and your looks and appearance why do i say reputation Be uh, because venus is also the 10th lord okay so maybe uh, you if you are going to some prominent place you know where you have some business meeting then uh, maybe you could uh, put some more time for your get up and uh, you can dress properly uh why why do i say uh professional setting because he's the 10th lord and especially if you are going for some a uh, short trip which is the third house because he's the third lord then this becomes very important so be very presentable professional and uh be mindful of what you say and venus transiting in the lagna as the lord of the third house can uh give you uh interest in social media because third house is the house of social media and venus is primarily your third lord because of libra so therefore 10th lord coming into the lagna can bring you some job opportunities depending on your mahadasha antardasha if the dasha planets indicate the 10th or the 11th houses then there could be some big job opportunity that you get and that might make you very famous okay and along with that because venus is also the third lord uh, connected to the 10th house so this can show that you are you, you are becoming very conscious of what you are speaking so basically third house also shows uh, skill upgradation okay because uh, it is the 10th from the 6th house okay so therefore if you feel that you need to do some new certification for uh going to the next level or you need to crack some exam and uh, put it in your resume you know the certificate then this is the best time so 
improve your appearance your look and feel and uh, improve your social media recheck your linkedin uh, go and recheck your resume update your resume and apply for that dream job okay thank you now we go to virgo so for virgo what's going on for virgo venus is the second lord primarily and uh, the ninth lord and venus is transiting your 12th house so very 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 interesting 9th lord transiting the 12th there could be some foreign chance foreign opportunity which opens <coughs> and um, second lord transiting the 12th this might mean that you are making some investments you know calculated investments for your uh, profession okay so maybe you are having some business expenses or you are buying some new laptop or new mobile or new camera for maybe you are making videos just like me or uh, you need a better equipment for doing your job the best possible way so second law transiting the 12th can give you some expenses uh, but along with the expenses it can also give you <coughs> gains depending on your mahadasha and antardasha but uh, 12th house is certainly the house of expenditure okay <coughs> so uh, what you need to do is you need to watch out on um, the things that you spend money on okay otherwise uh, it can be a bit uh, high on your budget okay and uh, the second house also deals with education and the ninth house also deals with higher education transiting in the twelfth house so if you have mahadasha of a natural benefic so like jupiter mercury venus moon moon also hmm? Uh, and also the antar dasha of another benefit you know and if the both the planets are indicating foreign travel then you might be able to uh, take a foreign trip abroad okay to a developed country okay and if uh, saturn rahu ketu are involved in your dashas then you might go to a underdeveloped country or a developing country or you might go to a developed country but the city or the town that you go may not be that developed okay <clears throat> so overall foreign lands education uh, business expense and uh, yeah controlling your food habits also second house is also food habits you know so make sure that your uh, food budget is also in check okay all the best virgo so now we go to libra ascendant so for libra uh, venus is the lord of your first house is the lagna lord and also the eighth lord transiting in your 11th house so for libras this is the best time lagnesh transiting the 11th exceptional phenomenal eighth lord transiting the 11th humongous gains okay so if you have any plans the lagna and 11th connection is gonna give you success in any area of life depending on your dashas of course okay <coughs> so uh, this can give you a lot of gains in your profession so if you have any uh, plans for uh, getting a new job or you know getting applying for a promotion or talking to your boss for your uh, future uh, career uh, trajectory then it's the best time and eighth lord uh, transiting the 11th can give you humongous levels of uh, gains in um, lottery or research you know some unearned money can come okay of course i i don't encourage gambling uh, it is not allowed as per the scriptures uh, but yeah something may come to you without you working much okay and eighth house is also the house of research <coughs> so uh, if you if you have any project any phd or any masters you know which you uh, are working on then this might be the time you might start writing your thesis or you might have your defense you know something like that <clears throat> and because venus is also your lagna lord uh, transiting the 11th you will also become very conscious of your network circle okay uh, because uh, 11th house shows people that you meet very frequently so if you as, as there's a proverb you know like your network is your uh, net worth you know so if you feel that you lack communication in life and you need uh, other people's help to uh, go to the next level you need contacts then this is the best time <coughs> join some group some spiritual community some uh, 
yeah some satsang program also maybe uh, try to connect with people in linkedin and then you will see that uh, things are improving significantly for you okay so it is a time for all round success depending on your horoscope so all the best libra so now we go to scorpio so for scorpio what's going on for scorpio venus is the 7th lord and the 12th lord the mool trikon rashi is in the 12th house and venus will transit your 10th house what else do i need to say 7th lord transiting 10th house phenomenal so 10th house is the house of name fame power position recognition and 10th house is the house of resolution you know uh, not unlike new year resolutions of course <laughs> so any planet transiting the 10th house can give you exponential gains especially if it is another kendra lord like the 7th you know so therefore uh, if you have if you want to apply to any job or uh, you want to start your own business then this is the best time why do i say business because 7th house shows business and 12th house shows business expenses okay so <coughs> now uh, if you have any idea where you want uh, using which you want to collaborate with somebody then uh, for scorpio this is the best time okay <clears throat> of course uh, the fourth house is the digbali position of venus and 10th house is opposite of that so it is in a position called as dikshunya which is not the best for the internal traits of venus you know which means you might be a bit more egoistic and arrogant with your spouse sometimes you know which could cause rifts in the relation in the marriage you know so that is not very recommended so <clears throat> and 10th house also gives a lot of ego and uh, narcissism sometimes so please make sure that you behave properly with your spouse and you are not uh, being over confident uh, because the 12th house can give some anxiety and uh, intensity sometimes okay so if you feel that there is too much anxiety then maybe do some uh, anaerobic exercises you know like uh, cycling running all this you know jogging that will uh, help you to calm your mind down and by that you will be able to do things much better okay so overall it's a great time for external achievements for business negotiations partnerships because of the 7th house and um, apart from that keep a watch on your anxiety okay all the best scorpio so now we go to sagittarius so for sagittarius venus is your 6th lord and primarily is your 11th lord and he's transiting in the 9th house okay so sagittarius as you know is ruled by jupiter jupiter is the dev guru brihaspati and venus itself is shukracharya you know danav guru so danav guru is entering the house of the deva guru okay and sagittarius is also the original ninth sign and for now uh, for you now venus will also transit leo which is in your ninth house okay so six lord transiting ninth uh, will certainly show that you need some practical skills in your profession for advancing and for going ahead uh, that that is going to be very 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 important for you so upskilling is the mantra for you you know so try to get some new certification or now uh, try to go to some network events you know why do i say network because 11th house shows networks okay so if you if you feel that you are not uh, doing well in life then maybe you need to network with somebody who is more experienced than you okay ninth house shows people who are above us in terms of experience and seniority so connect with others uh, not just anybody who is way 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 experienced than us you know try to send them a mail or have a call with them and uh, try to see how they can help you in your profession or in your higher studies because the ninth house also shows higher studies so it is very important that you get some good counseling from a career counselor or an astrologer or from some brother or some fatherly figure you know, or some senior within your company that's uh, who can actually help you you know so 
maybe this is a time to sit down with your manager and do some planning for your skills you know what kind of certifications should you do and what kind of certifications will give you growth in your career okay because the 6th and the 11th deals with money explicitly okay so good time for uh, knowledge higher studies and upskilling yourself all the best sagittarius so now we are here with capricorn so for capricorn venus rules your fifth house and your tenth house he is primarily your tenth lord because libra is in the tenth house and he will transit your eighth house mm -hmm, interesting fifth lord transiting the eighth house depending on your dashas you might run into somebody with whom you may enter into a relationship of course this is just 31 days uh, you know it doesn't mean that it can happen now but yeah uh, you might meet in meet with somebody with whom you might enter into a relationship later in life okay and the 10th lord transiting the 8th house uh, surely indicates that there will be some very strong research that you will uh, have to do in your profession okay so if you feel that things are not moving as you expect then maybe uh, it's time for you to do some proper research on you know new technologies new tools new skills which are valuable in the market and the more you do this the more you will actually be able to grow in your profession now so of course you don't have to like run and do some certification but eighth house shows intensity and depth you know so work intensely you know work with depth and try to figure out what is that the market wants from me okay and try to see how you can upskill uh, yourself in regards to that or maybe you don't need any skill or certification you just have to go in depth with your current work okay so essentially there is a necessity of hard work and if you feel that uh, there is some laziness in you uh, well then maybe uh, it's time to do some hobbies you know because fifth house also shows hobby so so use your hobbies you know to uh, find excitement and happiness and uh, meaning in life and then use that excitement in your profession okay so if you do this then uh, you will have an excellent time okay because for you uh, venus is a yoga karaka which rules one kendra and a one trine like the fifth and the tenth so if the yoga karaka is transiting the eighth house then it shows it's a time where you can you need to work hard in life but there will be extraordinary gains okay all the best capricorn so now we go to aquarius what's going on with aquarius so for aquarius venus is your fourth lord and primarily the ninth lord and you will transit the seventh house seventh house is the house of marriage partnerships union uh, organizations open enemy and all this so basically the seventh house represents other people you know uh, so ninth lord transiting the seventh ninth house is also the house of knowledge religion spirituality gurus so if you are facing some difficulty in your marriage or in your relationships not just with your spouse uh, with anybody okay so then it's a very good time to take guidance because venus is the lord of guidance which is the ninth house and what is interesting is that from the seventh venus will aspect your lagna which is the first house okay so you might feel the need to take guidance about your overall life in general and what is even more interesting is that venus is not just your ninth lord he's your fourth lord which shows that you are not just taking guidance but you are actually getting into the details of things you know fourth house shows knowledge so when you want to get knowledge ab about something when you want to go to the next level then you you should yourself read about it learn about it you know from experienced people and then approach somebody who can help you with your specific personal uh, situation okay so don't just randomly go to somebody and uh, get some guidance you know which is again not bad but 
uh, it will help you provided you you have done the background research you know so <coughs> Uh, if you want to talk to some senior you know for some professional reasons you know then maybe it's a very good time to first research on what that senior has done you know what kind of technologies are available in the market and what do you want to do okay fourth house shows the groundwork so please do the groundwork and when you go for guidance uh, it will be excellent and of course uh, venus transiting the seventh is a classic time if you are having a good dasha of the second seventh or eleventh then you might also get married okay but that depends on your chart okay all the best aquarius so now we come to pisces what's going on pisces so for pisces <coughs> venus is your third lord and he's primarily your eighth lord and transiting the sixth house so third house is the house of creative self-expression and eighth house is also the house of research okay so therefore now venus is transiting your sixth house now sixth house is not the best placement for venus on a personal level but it can be very good for your professional uh, life so this means uh, if you want to give an interview because interview is the third house and sixth house is your job so if you want to give a interview to another company for a better uh, designation and a better position and a better uh, salary then uh, well uh, this is the best time okay uh, but nonetheless you need to understand that venus is also the eighth lord and the multricon rashi libra is in the eighth house transiting in the sixth so this is not a very easy time uh, for profession also because if you want to apply for some job <coughs> now uh, you will feel that uh, you need to do a lot of research you need to know how things work in the background eighth house shows things that actually go on in the background okay <coughs> so i would personally recommend uh, if you are uh, wanting to apply to a job then uh, you can do it directly but my recommendation is you know try to find somebody uh, who can actually refer you that can make things a bit more easier and even if you are in one job from last five years now uh, you should still try to see what what are the ways by which you know people are cracking these interviews you know what are most frequently asked interview questions and a uh, sixth house shows practice you know so don't just go into theoretical stuff you know learn the stuff and do research and work hard and master the skill set you know sixth house tenth house shows skill so now if you have some interviews you will not just have some theoretical discussion you will have very practical uh, questions and answers and you might have to do some exercises and prove that okay so wish you all the best Pisces, uh, work hard and do research and succeed in your profession. Thank you.